Hello guys, so it's our second day on board and we are here in the vegetable room wherein we're having uh, icing on the evaporator and for today I'm going to show you on how to fix this kind of trouble and where to start and what are the main cause of this problem. So come and join me in this new learning. So just like what I have said, the first thing that we suspect every time that we have this evaporator um, icing on the grill, then we need to check the, the refrigerant level. And upon checking, so the Freon is in good level. So I've decided to check the number, the meat room and the fish room evaporator which I found out that it is just a normal evaporator condition so we rule out this area why because as you can see in a normal setup I have this one two compressors one is standby and one is running so from the compressor it will actually go to your discharge side which is passed through condenser water cooled and then it will go to service valves to side glass okay the normal way to your discharge side and then pass to the heat exchanger and then it will only separate be separated in each and every room which is having the uh, solenoid valve so if this is normal in the condition of the evaporator grill the refrigeration system for this is in good condition because these are in good condition so we can now focus on the evaporator section of the vegetable room which is from the solenoid valve to the TXB to the grill and to whatever cargo or commodity you will you have in your vegetable room so the problem is only coming from this side only that is why I check first the solenoid valve so in checking I use my favorite tool which is the permanent magnet so I can hear a clicking sound and then the solenoid coil is magnetized so I can say that the solenoid valve is okay since it is a vegetable room so it doesn't have the manual deep frost option unlike the freezer room So I defrosted the system using the water. So after thoroughly cleaning the evaporator grill, I have decided to run the system and see how it will respond after this I want to check if it is only a moisture from the vegetables or really having a problem on the mechanical section I want to see the condition of the system on the next day but as soon as the system runs there is already a buildup of ice after the TXV 
So the next day, I checked again the unit. In which I have found out that the grill is covered with ice again. So this time, I will use heat gun in melting the ice on the TXB. And then I have decided to adjust it with one full turn. It is important that you should have a markings on whatever you are doing on the TXV. Since there is an icing on the grill, I need to lower the superheat of the TXV. So this time I don't need to throw the ice on the evaporator grill because I am sure that there is already a problem with the TXV. I just need to wait on how the TXB will respond after the adjustment. So I let it run for around 6 hours straight. So after we adjusted the superheat and now it's running well and no more icing. Before, as soon as we started the system, this one will get frosted already. So now it's okay and everything looks fine now and no more development of ice in each and every coil. So I'm planning to make another video which is all about the common troubles that you will be facing in your refrigeration system. Always remember to be familiarized on the system so that you will not get lost in the middle. Provision refrigeration is very important on board as this is where we store our food on board. So everyone will be waiting for you to fix this system. So that's it guys. I hope you learned something from this video and please don't forget to subscribe in my YouTube channel.